G'day guys. I just finished a very quick, brisk and windy fishing session for Redfin at Kennington. Here's the video, unedited from start to finish. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, found a nice quiet spot on the bank here. I'm starting off with this Red Strike Tiger Nymph. I've had quite a few comments from people in the past month or two saying, oh, come over to Kenny Res, get some reddies. They love the plastics. So I'll put a few examples of those comments on the screen now, but that's what I'm starting with, the Red Strike Tiger Nymph. And I'm gonna make this an uncut fishing video because I've only got about 20 minutes. So first cast, let's just make it happen. That was a weed. <laughs> All right, let's go. Second cast. This is the one. <laughs> so I'm just doing a gentle rolling retrieve couple of twitches there in the middle uh, that's a weed there must be a big weed bed out there but that's all right they hold fish Oh, that was a touch. It's good, the fish are here. Let's get one. Oh, sorry about the wind noise. Can't help it. It's limiting my cast distance too. I went over there, I don't want it over there. Massive weed bed there. I'm just gonna end up fouled up if I try and retrieve that way. Ugh, that's where the wind took my lure. It's shocking today. Mm, no sign yet. I think I had a touch, but I might have just bumped a weed. Move, duck. <laughs> it is, it's been the coolest summer I can ever remember this year. Cool and windy and wet. We've barely had days in the 30s, let alone the 40s. We usually get like a week straight of 40s temperature. That's a weed. <laughs> But yeah, very, very cool and wet summer. It's about 21 degrees today. It's actually quite cool in this wind. <laughs> Maybe the reddies aren't just, just not on, it's just too cold for them.
keep hitting that weed bit thinking it's a fish. Oh, that is a fish. <laughs> there you go, he's a decent feeling. I'm on. What have I got? It's got to be a red fin, eh? It is. Beautiful looking fish. There we go. First fish on the board on the red striped tiger nymph. I'm not sure about the exact colour. You'll have to look that up yourself. I'm not an expert on striped tigers, but it's dark red. And he's about a 24 centimetre red fin, I guess. Just a little guy. I probably wouldn't keep him even if I was keeping fish today, but I am not. So um, I'll get him back and then I'll clean up my line, I suppose. I'll get him off and breathing. He's not going to let me grab his mouth again, so he can just swim like this. See ya, buddy. Off he goes. All right, let's get another one. Keep this video unedited. Probably got 15 minutes or so left. Clean up my line. These are the boring bits I usually cut out. Oh, that weird. Wow. This is ridiculous. I'm so sorry about wind noise. <laughs> All right, so I was right. I think I hit the weed bed and then the fish was hiding in the weed bed and he's absolutely smashed it. All right, let's try and get another one. Oh, geez, I can't even cast out half as far as I should be able to. Oh, well, hopefully the fish are in nice and close, seeing the water's not as clear as it should be from all the waves. God, I'm casting about 20 meters. <laughs> that wind's atrocious. I'm going to check I'm recording, but to avoid a cut, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to look at my screen. It says it's recording. Okay, that's a bonus. <laughs> I didn't want to make a cut in the video by stopping it and starting it to check I'm recording like I usually do. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> All right, let's get another fish. They're here, they're hungry. I think my plastic's coming off my jig head a little bit there. I might just fix it. There you can see it's been, it's slid down a bit. It's probably hit the weeds and I'll just push it back onto that bump. Should keep it on the lure, ready to go again. Oh, that was a hit. Come back. No. Just if the wind had given me five minutes, <laughs> I'd be able to get a few casts out deeper. Weeds. That's where the fish are. Yes. Oh, oh, I dropped him. I had him too. He was only just out here. Bip bip ducks. Got him. Yep, he was just out there. Much smaller than the first one. <laughs> Very small redfin from Kenny Reservoir. See you later, mate. All right, get a couple more before my time runs out. Oh, that, that's the weeds. <laughs> It's funny because the, the fish and the weeds are in the same spot. So every time I come through that weed bed, I get excited when I feel a bump. <laughs> well, that was a bit better of a cast. Wind gave me a two second break. Right. 
that way a bit. It's a nice slow roll, with a couple of twitches with every couple of turns of the handle, just to make it look more alive. It's already moving, so it'll get their attention, but those those little twitches will, will make them commit to a bite. Still a little cast out there on that angle. All right, it's worth a shot. Oh, my phone just went off. Means I've got five minutes of fishing left maximum. All right, let's make it count. Let's get another red fin. Oh, that was a hit. That was a definite hit. Come back, come on. Follow it in. I'll just let it sit there. Maybe he's watching it. No. All right. Back out we go. That was a bit further. See if I can get a bigger one. Well, any one will do. I've got five minutes left. <laughs> just another fish. Come on. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, I lost him. Bugger. I actually had him, then lost him, then had him, then lost him just then. That's why I sort of went, yep, nah, yep, nah. <laughs> uh, that lure went sideways once it got out there. Jesus, wind. Come on. Through the weeds. That was the weeds. Just let it sit there near the weeds for a minute. Just let it sit on the bottom and give it one hop, like that. Another hop. Oh, I think something had it then. Oh. Bugger. All right. Oh, come on, give me one more. Just one more. I'll be happy. I'm happy already. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm happy just going fishing, and the catching's a bonus. Having said all of that, I would still like one more. Vanished on me as I'm running out of time. That's the weed bed. What if I try a tiny cast over there near the weeds and the snag? Oh! That was a hit. There's a school sitting there, I think. Maybe that's where they're coming from when I'm catching them. No. I swear that had a hit as it was sinking. No. All right. Maybe I just bounced off a, one of the snags or something. Oh, two minutes, come on. Got to get a fish, got to get a fish, and then I have to go, I'm out of time. <laughs> two minutes. I 
just nearly knocked my lure off, getting the, the weed off. Make him look pretty again. There we go, let's get it back out. Ugh. trying to slower retrieve seeing if something uh oh I might actually whoop I got it I was gonna say I might actually have to call it there because I've lost my lure but I got it back come on got about three more casts after this one and I'll have to call it Let's count them down. Three. I'll count down, so three, two, one. And then the bonus cast. There's always got to be a bonus cast. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this wind. Come on. Beautiful fishing weather. Ugh. All right, that's two. All right, one last cast. Now let me get a little bit of distance at least. Let it sink all the way, and in we come. Oh, that was the weight. Oh, I thought I had a touch then. So this cast doesn't count, because it's part of that one, because I had a touch or a follow. No, okay. Last cast, it's the bonus cast. Probably have a bit better luck if I could cast it out, Jesus. All right, this is definitely my last cast before I get blown off the lake. Oh, that was a hit. The rod tip bent heaps. So, a hit or a follow means I do get one more cast. Oh, didn't go very far, but it's our last cast, unless I catch a fish, get a hit, get a follow, this will be it. Oh, well, bugger. Oh, I think I've done an unedited fishing video before, so I'm having another crack at it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you next time.